you are about to hear strange things. Make sure that you are not in the dark. You know, uh, the Robuchi, I don't want to go, the Robuchi, yeah, this, the Robuchi. listen to the music yeah, very well. Mm. They, they sang that music for that type of idol. Hi everyone, welcome on board to Hopper.tv. Is this for real? Like seriously? You know, most of the times songs are released and people keep repeating the lyrics of the song without proper understanding of it. They say, oh, it's just one of those things. Why are you taking it serious? Um, is it not just a song, an anchor, an anthem? Um, it's something for us to jiggle and dance at at the club and what have you. Whatever it is, it's nothing. Really? I'm sure you must have heard the song. Don Jazzy actually brought this out. Doro this, Doro fresh, Doro fine, Doro that. And people thought Doro, Doro, is he talking about himself? Doro, Don Jazzy, Doro this. What does it mean? They say, no, it doesn't mean. But did you hear what that Malam said? That is spiritualist. A fortune teller. He said that song that you probably sang in those days. He said that song was created. In fact, did John, John Jazzy listen to this somewhere? Did someone ask him, did he get the lyrics of the song in his dreams? Where did this inspiration come from? He's saying that that song was created, that song was sung, sung to praise that particular spirit. He said that spirit has one high. You heard it? You heard it? Wow. In fact, I want you to hear more of what his Malam said. This is serious. This is serious. Most of the times we are exposed to certain things coming from some people without proper understanding of it. You will just keep repeating some. In fact, any song that does not have clarity, um, not something that came from somewhere, songs that do not have the same wordings, clear wordings, songs that do not have strange elements inside. Anytime you hear songs that have something inside of it, you should be cautious of it. Really? Doro this, Doro that. Doro that. Doro, who is Doro? What is Doro? You hear what the spiritualist said. Did you hear it? Let us hear the spiritualist telling everybody that cares to listen that that word, that sentence, that that spirit is actually being praised. Where did Don Jazzy get this from? I thought his background is white garment. Are they worshipping white uh, Doro in white garment or what? Where did he, what is this about? Who gave him these lyrics? Where did he get this inspiration from? that are called the nationals are half full they have one eyes mm. let me tell you this you know uh the robuchi i don't want to go the robuchi yeah, this the robuchi. listen to the music the very well mm. they they sang that music for that type of idol mm. but yes one eye you look at they like they mostly use one eye one the eye sign yeah yes it, it is called nationals yes nationals sometimes come in the form of mankind mm. they imitate the image of mankind and then come, yes come to you and beg you for old clothes mm. and at the moment you give them the old clothes they use that against you Ooh. someone can go somewhere want to do something evil to you and they tell the person they want your old clothes mm. or something that is part that of you is part of you. yes so the nothingness this evil witchcraft that we have in every family mm. can like come contract, as a human being they contract the nothingness to and come yes come to you and take their old clothes or beg for old clothes and at the moment you give them that old clothes yeah, attack on you against you some of them beg you for money hmm. and they give you that same money, money of yours against, against you wow so now i think we've come to a point where we just don't swallow everything you know songs and in, we when we talk about afrobeat or afro pop or afro this afro that it has gone wild and far i mean it has gone wide and far there is no way you go to you and listen or hear songs that originate from Nigeria. But what are the lyrics of this song? What does it mean? In fact, some of these ch churches are now, we saw some priests dancing the latest one, Vuga. And if Doro is to come at this time, they will dance hoping to use this to draw the youth to themselves because that is some of the strategy of some of these um, priests and 
sisters we've seen videos we've seen a lot of them doing this of course if anyone wants to dance to lyrics of any song not minding or caring what the lyrics are is this because do you know why i'm really particular about this you will see people who call themselves christians celebrating halloween and some other festivities and when you check you realize that these festivities are rooted in paganism witchcraft worship etc but this same group of people will refuse to do the same they will refuse to practice the same in their own country they will not embrace they will say no they will not do that yeah more jazz and these things that's what our spirit and celebration do not try to do this um, they, they want to cast out but these are people who will buy their children give they live abroad they will buy their children give during halloween they will celebrate all of this because these people have polished it they've made it look like something that should be embraced they believe that this has done a lot of good to them and you will embrace it but you will not embrace yours at the end of the day who are you fooling well some have said that oh this is there's something called black witch and white witch that white witchcraft is more progressive and then black witchcraft is not progressive at all um, those are the people who hunt stars of children, hunt stars of family members. They will bring people down. They will. This have been what we've been hearing, and people have been seeing. Is that enough reason? Is that the reason why people embrace such festivities in the Western world, but will say festivities or celebration that has, like, say, worship of Ogun Ogun festival? They say, no, 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 that, those are demons, those are evil spirits, but they embrace the evil spirits of the Europeans. What is going on here? Like, seriously? Let us hear what the Malam said here. Witchcraft is real. Witchcraft exists. It they are there. there. It is there. We have two categories. Hmm. We have the good witchcraft and the evil one. One thing about the white people is they practice white witchcraft. Okay. They've opened school with it. When we say witchcraft, beye, hmm. beye means abeye. That is how we call it. Yeah. Okay, divide the abba mm -hmm. ye. ye. What yes. is the meaning of that? It, it has, has come, come for well. good. Yeah, it has come so well. this same witchcraft that the white man has contracted the phone hmm. that my brother is holding, the you can do yes. Using. Yes, you can use the phone hmm. to do video call, and I will see you like it brings hmm. loved ones hmm. together. But the beye of the black people hmm. is on the mirror. At the moment, the baby calls you on video call on the mirror. mirror. That means the person is going to give you, the witchcraft is going to give you sickness. Okay. Or it's going to kill you. Right. I'm sure, you know, you must have heard this several times. And you heard what he said. That, oh, the white witches, they use theirs to make mobile phones. The African these, they use theirs for destruction. It is never for progress. The kind of genie, the kind of spirits they use, the kind of... And they say spirits can be used for whatever you want. It depends on what you want. So where did all of this come from? Why is it that Africa, everything that revolves around Africa, Africans is always bad, is always wicked, is not focused, is not progressive minded, has nothing valuable to offer. Why is this? Why is it the way? Is this something that has to do with the mindset? In fact, when you go to churches, particularly churches that claim that they have eyes to see into the realm of the spirit, the third, the fourth, the fifth heaven, etc., you will see the picture image of a Caucasian Jesus. Is that really Jesus Christ? Like, seriously? You will see, and these people want to tell you that they saw your great-grandfather, they saw your room, they saw this, they saw your future, they saw your present, they saw your past. Like, seriously, how come your eyes are not open? Or are you not seeing anything? How come your eyes are not open? How then did you deceive yourself to put images of a Caucasian Jesus in your church? Really? How can Jesus Christ be blue-eyed, blonde, and he's from that part of the world? Like, seriously, how could he have come from the tribe? How could he have come from... Israel or David come through that lineage? How is that possible? This is something that has to be made clearer to a lot of people. There is so much confusion. What is going on here? Even Christmas. We are in December right now. 
there's so much celebration people hanging you know lights you know blinking lights right left and center they have the trees you know with the so-called christmas this christmas that was jesus christ really born on the 25th some might say no it doesn't matter don't forget that the roman catholics are the backbone of this although somehow some of them are you know trying to be like you know we are not part of this one we are not part of that but this is what we know and this is what a lot of people have embraced is christmas really does it really have anything to do with christ or is it for business is there some form of paganism in it what is christmas is it christ was jesus christ born december or they just picked a date and say let's use the date is that how things are done i'm sure most of you must have you know done some research as regards some of this um, celebration not the ones that are clear like halloween halloween yes but you will realize that the same people who celebrate halloween celebrate christmas celebrate this celebrate that celebrate that come on where are we in all of this i know this talk started from the doro song the song of don jazzy where he spoke and sang did everything till today if we ask who is doro who is dorobuchi what language is it what language is dorobuchi maybe it could mean something else in don jazzy's language or in someone else's language um i want you to kind of um clarify it what is this when the song was released the uncertainty of its meaning made a few people label it as a cultic song now don jazzy back then debunked the occultic reference made about the song in may 2014 he said the later part of the song means anything that is fun cool awesome or fantastic it is a lie now dr seed one of the group you know that was part of don jazzy's um, um team back then say buchi means anything that is amazing doro means doro makes buchi a person doro personifies buchi that's all trash a spiritualist has made it clear that doro buchi is a demon end of discussion what are your own thoughts as regards this one um let us meet at the comment section below I say a very big thank you to those who have taken time to subscribe to this channel and if you're yet to subscribe kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red bell icon so you will be notified whenever videos such as this are uploaded.